and I would like to just finish with some food for thought about ego protecting, right? So everyone has an ego. Ego is not conceit. We're not talking about a conflated sense of self. We're not talking about the ego in the sense of like um, being a show pony, wanting all this attention. That's more, say, lending itself maybe towards narcissism or like all different types of inferiority or superiority complexes. We're not talking about those sorts of personality traits either, extroversion or introversion. Talking about ego, there's a, there is a, a an important part of you and me that uh, protects itself. So when you, when you want to learn something uh, and then you find that you need to put that in front of people like demonstrating boring dancing. We're going to use competition as an example here or filming yourself or any time you're under duress like public speaking. So think about those moments when you want to be in front of people or even dancing at a party. Have you ever felt when you're at a party wanting to dance? The song is so good, but there's something that holds you back. Maybe you've just gone, oh, and you, you thought, what are the people going to think of me? Uh, or I'm going to look like a fool. That's your ego protecting yourself and it serves a purpose. So this is not a bad thing. You just have to understand what's going on. This is, this is an awareness type of exercise. Um, so we've all had an experience like that. Now, it doesn't mean everybody continues in that experience. I sort of lend this towards the idea of like, you know, there are people that just seem to not give a shit. Like, like who are, how are those people doing that? It turns out that they learn to detach from their ego and Detachment doesn't mean you don't feel, it doesn't mean you don't have, um, uh, it's not, <laughs> detachment does not mean you are dead inside and you don't have um, any emotions. This is something that I think is misunderstood, say from the Buddhist style of tradition or the yogic tradition where it's like, okay, now I'm in Nirvana, I feel nothing. Like, no, your emotions are fully present. You are connected to yourself. You feel joy, you feel sadness, you have all of those, but you're not connected to them, right? They, they, you like observing them. All right. So part of the reason people can't experiment in ballroom dancing or they lack the courage to move away from what they know and to try something new or to just as simple as like get up and dance at a party because they like the song and to just be in that moment and not actually care is because of that ego protection and detaching from that outcome is going to absolutely smash you, put you into the stratosphere when it comes to elevating your life across the board, because you're going to start to care less about rejection. You're going to start to care less about what people think of you. All right. Now you have to remember it does serve a purpose. What people think of you, it, there's a tribal idea where, you know, growing up, you needed a good reputation, right? It wasn't good to like pillage, plunder, rape, and just psychopathically destroy people because, you know, the people wouldn't then look after you in turn, would they? So there's a utility to like, what do people think of me? It's when that takes ownership of you and you don't push yourself to the next stage or you try that new venture or you take a risk or you ask that person out or you um, move for a promotion or you ask for a raise or you quit your job, right? All of those things there often are held back because of your idea of what someone else is going to think of you doing that thing. All right. And that, that's what the detachment's important for, particularly in dancing, because you're going to need to put yourself out there, aren't you? Like I do online. But I found that I, if I am in, if my ego is protecting me, I'm like, holy Lord, what are people going to think of me? I tell you, there's, I've put a lot of videos out, right? There are lots of videos I haven't put out because I've stood there ready to hit the button and I've gone, what am I going to say? Oh, what if that person that I really like sees this video? What if that person that hates me, that doesn't like me, doesn't like my dancing, doesn't like my, my smile, whatever, whatever I'm saying to myself, what if they see it, right? Bang, ego protection kicks in. It's like, don't do it. Don't do it, right? And then guess what happens? You rationalize, which is ra rationing lies to the mind. So you start to think, oh yeah, I'll just, I'll go clean. Why not, right? Like, oh yeah, I'll just get a coffee then not come back. You're totally bullshit yourself. And you know, this. we've all done this, right? So the point is, is that it serves a purpose because it's stopping you from sort of dying, right? Like, because what if you took a risk and you did die? Or what if you took a risk and you broke an ankle, right? So th there is a utility in protecting yourself, but most of it's mental, particularly in dancing. Why should you really care what people think about your dancing? I mean, honestly, what doesn't serve a purpose, right? This is why I think it's great you send me videos. It's like, dance like a goddamn numpty, right? Like, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, my opinion doesn't really matter that much, you know? So what should happen is I give you advice to make your dancing better, but it's not like you need my validation on whether you should keep dancing or not. Do you understand? And so I would encourage you this week, because for me personally, when I 
when I notice myself, and remember, you're observing yourself, you should be trying to observe yourself, not in yourself, like everything weighs on you to the point where your entire existence depends on someone's approval of your dancing or your validation. You're observing yourself learning to dance and try, and you can sort of laugh at yourself that way. So you're not like a, so involved emotionally in it that you feel horrible if it doesn't work out, right? Observe yourself. Notice when that happens. Notice when like your own ego comes in to protect yourself uh, and what that actually is. And then like ask yourself, is that actually serving me? Is that actually helping me right now? Um, and you'll probably notice, no, that isn't. And I'm holding back. I'm scared of experimenting right now. I'm scared of trying that new thing. And that's the protective mechanism. And it's stuff, it's fucking you, right? It's stopping you from improving and progressing. So notice what it is, thank yourself, and then just go, I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. And if it doesn't work out, like laugh at yourself, you know, have that healthy space. But in your mind, you've sort of created this gap. You're not like in it, you're observing yourself. All right, so see how you go with that type of mentality, that type of mindset as you go forward this month. It's been a pleasure being here with you. I've loved it. Make sure if you want access to BMA or the next level, or if you need help with any of the courses I have, um, to hit me up with an email, send me some of your videos, and uh, make sure you like and share and comment on the YouTube channels to help out those videos grow uh, and tell your friends, all right? It's been a pleasure being here. I'll see you next month, you crazy dancers.